Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Thomas, and as you can see, I'm pretty fat. And I'm going to show you how I intend to change that by cycling. So, why am I doing this? Well, really, uh, I'll let myself go a bit. And what I'd like to do ultimately is not come last at my kid's egg and spoon race in his sports day at school. Today, I'll be burying all and showing you just how fat I am and uh, my vital stats such as weight, uh, resting, heart rate, all that sort of jazz. Um, and hopefully, um, if you guys are happy to follow along with me, um, I'll be showing you on a weekly basis how I'm progressing. Hopefully it's uh, going to go well. Okay, so this will be the first time I've weighed myself probably in six months to a year. Uh, so I've no idea how much I weigh. Let's find out. I'll be keeping my shorts on because I don't want to offend anyone. Okay, so I've purchased a new set of scales, uh, which should tell me all sorts of uh, stats about myself. So let's find out how we're getting on today. Okay, so let's see what the uh, scale say, shall we? Turn it on. Let's set it up so it's going to measure my stats. Uh, that's my height there, my age. Let's go. Okay, so that looks like 19 stone and 8 pounds. It's 36.5% uh, fat. It's hideous. 46.5% water, 9% bone. And my BMI is 39.2. Um, I guess that's a lot, I don't know really, so I'll find out. Okay, so now you've all seen my wares and uh, the embarrassment of how much I weigh and all the BMI and all that jazz. Um, really, and what I intend to do now is show you how I'm going to uh, lose the weight, hopefully, and what equipment I'll be using. Uh, I'm normally a mountain biker, uh, have been for a long time, since the early 90s. Uh, however, over the last few years, I had a little boy, uh, moved a lot and not had time and basically my bike riding has fallen by the wayside uh, which I'm really gutted about because I used to cycle everywhere um, I guess having a car is uh, an easy excuse not to do any cycling but I'd like to change that again and get back on the bike and uh, I've bought a new bike in order to do so um, the route which I intend to take commuting um, to work is quite hilly well maybe not for some but for me it will be anyway um, most of it on the way to work will be downhill and on the way home uphill um, you know hopefully I'll be showing you some of the parts of the route as well so you can get an idea it's quite a nice uh, ride actually um, so yeah I bought my first road bike um, like I say I used to work in a bike shop long 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 time ago I've don't think I've ever ridden a road bike uh, and I'm yet to ride this one. It's all built up, I've put a few bits on it to weatherproof it um, and make it more comfortable to, to ride to work in. I don't want any excuses like bad weather, a bit of rain, so it's got the mud guards on. Um, so let's have a look. So it's, um, I didn't want to spend too much, so I bought last year's model. It is a specialized Diverge comp carbon uh, and it was an absolute bargain to be fair um, it's quite light I guess I don't know, really know like I say don't know much about road bikes um, but it's got hydraulic brakes I'd like to be able to stop because I'm fat um, and it's got all, all sorts of nice comfy bits like the uh, cobbler gobbler seat post there which gives 18 millimeters I think of uh, compliance so hopefully I won't get shaken to bits 
Um, I've got my trusty Garmin, which I used to use on my mountain bike. And, you know, it all looks to be ready set up for uh, commuting. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, so uh, I've now found myself with a little bit of spare time this afternoon. So I intend to go and have my first go on a road bike. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so living in North Devon in the UK, I've uh, got quite a lot of nice places to go for a ride. Um, I'm going to take it easy today, being my first ride out. need to check the gears uh, working and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and also, um, I haven't ridden any bike for about six months, so I'm going to have tired legs. Um, so again, nice and flat. I last probably actually the last time I rode a bike um, would be doing this uh, little route I'll do today. It's about 12 miles. I think it took me about an hour on my mountain bike, um, which is uh, like a 150 millimeter trail bike, full suspension jobby. So I'm hoping this might be a little bit easier. Not that it was hard because it's flat, of course, but uh, you know, uh, everyone's raving about road bikes. So let's give it a go and see what happens. Um, incidentally, the reason I didn't ride my bike here, because it's quite close to my man cave, is because on the way home there's a massive hill and my legs aren't ready for that. That's the start of it. Okay, so that pretty much is the end of the four mile climb I've just done. Uh, I don't want to sound dramatic, but my legs are killing. Uh, according to my Garmin, total ascent 397 foot over four miles, which is uh, pathetic really. But you have to start somewhere. And uh, let's keep going, because we're not at the halfway point just yet. Onwards and upwards. So there it is ladies and gentlemen, this sign marks the turning point of my ride. Uh, I remember uh, when I did the ride about six months ago, I turned around here because it was bang on pretty much six miles. So uh, just going to have a breather, get a little bit of a drink and uh, give the legs a little rest I think. Um, I think it's fair to say since I last rode a bike. A lot of good that I did previously and it has been undone. I'm very unfit. Probably Christmas didn't help. Um, I think there's a few things that need some work. Not the bike. The bike's awesome. I'll cover that a bit later. But uh, particularly my undercarriage. It does feel like someone's set a bonfire down there. Um, whether or not it's because I'm riding with a saddle much higher than I normally would. And different areas are getting... Uh, subjected to the chafing 
I don't know, but uh, I've still got to ride six miles back to the car and uh, I can't help but think that it's probably going to be a lot worse before it gets any better. So, best be off. Okay, so that's the uh, first ride done. It was, I think, 12.2 miles. Uh, I don't think it was very quick, but uh, that's down to my fitness levels rather than the bike. Um, one thing I will say about the road bike, other than it being very strange in that riding position, I've never, cause, because I've never done that before, a bit ridden a road bike, um, it's very hunched up and the arms are very close together. You know, I used to ride on a trail bike with uh, really wide handlebars, so that's very bizarre. But uh, you know, my hands do resemble having ridden a day at Bike Park Wells from just gripping onto the handlebars. Um, I just must have lost so much strength in my hands for, through not riding. Uh, someone's put a box of matches down there and uh, set fire to it, but that will get better. I stupidly didn't have a pair of uh, cycling shorts with any padding so it's probably my underpants <laughs> which have chafed and uh, that hurts but we'll get over that uh, I'm gonna head back to the man cave now and have a look on Strava and see you see what happened on the ride okay so I'm back in the uh, in the man cave now uh, just having a look at my results on Strava it's quite interesting really because uh, although in parts the bike felt much quicker than it does on my trail bike uh, for the same route, um, each way over six miles I was about four minutes slower today than I was six months ago on my other bike, um, which says a lot about my fitness levels uh, and how bad they've deteriorated over the last six months. But that's why I'm here to change that. Um, I'm kind of hoping that you guys will follow me, that would be nice, um, by subscribing and you know don't feel bad about shaming me into keep going and because I need to lose some weight and I feel, figure this is the best way to do it. If I try and shame myself into doing it um, we might get somewhere so please uh, you know do, do follow, uh, subscribe and uh, you know let's hope there's more of this and less hamburgers. Cheers.